guys, this is Heart Defender, and welcome back to another Pokemon video. Today, I want to talk about something that was brought up during one of my Friday live streams, and that is Ivy's, Eevee's, and Nature. So, what happened was somebody in the chat asked me, "What? What is that?" <laughs> I mean, and I am sort of competitive. I would say I play competitive. For Sword and Shield, I haven't really gone to any official tournaments, but I do play ranked battles quite a bit, and I have ranked teams, so I do know what these are. So, yeah, so I kind of know what is going on. So, I haven't really seen too much where it's like a simple, simple explanation that totally makes sense, so that's what I'm going to try to do is make it really simple. So, first off, I'm going to start with natures. So, for natures, these are a trait, you could say, a Pokemon has that boosts its stat and lowers another one. Most of them do. Some of them have no effect. You can check this by if you beat at least six battles in the battle tower outside of, uh, I believe, I want to say Winden. If just outside of there, there's a battle tower. After you beat the game, and you beat six battles in doubles or singles, you should unlock the uh, raiding feature, which with the plus button, go over a Pokemon, it will show you the stats and the numbers, all of that, and then there'll either be nothing or a red and blue highlighted stat. Now, the red and blue shows what's increase and decrease. If there is no coloring, that means your nature doesn't do anything. So, for PvP, you're going to want a nature that helps your Pokemon. Most of the time, I don't really use natures for anything other than boosting the attack or special. Now, because most of the time, I want good hard hitters for my PvP team, so that's why. But you might want speed or other stuff boosted. And what is really, really helpful is you can go online, look at what raises and lowers for natures and stuff, or you can look by the red and blue. Also, for PvP, you're going to want to probably change the nature of the Pokemon you're using. And by doing that, you can go to the Battle Tower yet again and buy a mint for 50 BP, which will even tell you a description, what it raises, what it lowers. So that's how you can change the natures to help you. Also, make sure that if you're going to do a moveset, make sure you have a physical or a special attacking Pokemon. You don't really want to do mixed because you want to get as much damage as possible. So, what I recommend is that you, if you have a physical attacker, get a nature that raises the attack and lowers the special attack. I believe that's adamant nature. If you have a special attacker, have one that raises special attack and lowers attack. If it's a physical attacker, make sure it's all physical attacks. If it's a special attacker, make sure you have all special attacks. And uh, you might even have some like status moves in there too, but make sure your majority is special attacks. And there are some Pokemon that I know of that can be an attacker as a physical attacker or a special attacker, which uh, two I can think of are Lucario and Dragpult. So you're going to want to choose. Another thing that I want to talk about is IVs. Now, this is determined also with the judge feature, which I mentioned before how to get. It will tell you a listing of your IVs. It'll be like good, uh, good no good, very good, uh, best. And what you want to have is best in all six most of the time. Some of the time you want to lower speed or something for trick room, but that's too complicated for now. I'm just going to say you want best. For your IVs. And let's say you have a Pokemon. I'm like I really want to use this. I have the nature and everything. What you can do. Again Battle Tower is key. You can buy little tiny bottle caps. And these bottle caps. You use it. And you talk to the guy. Once that Pokemon's level 100. And you talk to the guy on the far right. And he'll take the bottle cap. Use it on that Pokemon. And automatically turn that bad stat to best. It'll say Hyper Train. Which is the equivalent of best. So you're going to want to have a lot of bests which most of the time, but again, I don't want to be too complicated. So that's how you get really good IVs if you don't have so already. Then, last thing that's really huge, really, really huge, is EVs. Now, these are effort values, kind of complicated all the ways I've seen. I'm going to explain it. It's a stat buff. That's what it is. So what you want to do to d distribute your EVs and whatever is you want to buy some vitamins. Now, this might be an HP up protein, calcium, any of that. 
but you can also use Google if you can't memorize it. I can't even memorize it all the time, but all of them do. So I would recommend doing that. But what you want to do is you can use 26 of one buff in HP attack, special attack, defense, special defense, speed. You can use one to max it out, 26 of them, 26 of that vitamin. And then as second stat, you can choose and you can max that out with 26. And then you can use one vitamin elsewhere, which is your last four EV points technically. So this is really helpful for PvP. And let's say you want a fast physical attacker. So what you do is you go buy 26 of the vitamins that boost attack and 26 of, I believe, Carbos is for speed. You buy 26 of those. And then you can buy one, let's say you want uh, four EV points in HP, buy one HP vitamin. Then take your vitamins, use 26 on one Poke on that Pokemon of the attack, use 26 of the speed on that Pokemon, and use one of the HP, and you'll be EV max out. Now you're going to want to do this with a Pokemon that does not have EVs already. This way you get the best results possible. If you are having trouble and your EVs aren't really bouncing that well, there is a person in the Isle Armor for 10 or that can clean out your EVs and then just immediately use your vitamins. And uh, yeah guys, this is really important uh, I think for PvP. Also one other way to check, if you go to the summary of your Pokemon, Go over to the stats and cycle through, I believe, with the X button. There will be a thing where it shows like a little like pointy line with stars uh, in two spots if you did it right. It'll point to two uh, of the stats that you maxed out and have little stars, which means you maxed it out and you did it correct. So, yeah, that's it, guys. I mean, that's my simple explanation of nature's ivies evies i hope this helped you guys if it did i would really appreciate it if you hit that like and subscribe button and as always guys thanks for watching